Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Sonar Hacks. In this video, we're going to talk about quick order favorites. As you can see here, I've modified my quick orders page here to reflect the things I order the most. For example, let's say a patient is crashing and need to order something stat. I've got a stat order page here, so I need to order CBC, electrolytes, lactate, blood cultures, chest x-ray, and CT head stat with the EKG. So just like that, I've ordered all those things very quickly without having to fill the times of the lab work or the reasoning for the imaging. So all I have to do is sign it and away we go. Welcome back. So why do we have quick order favorites? Well, we use them to order things that we may not order all the time, but when we do order them, we don't have to remember how to order it. Things like hydrocortisone cream or artificial eye drops. So these things are seldomly ordered, but it's nice to have it right there when you need to. We can use them also to order things that we routinely order quite frequently, but we don't want to have to modify it all the time. So for example, when I admit a patient, rather than a power plan, I go through my quick admissions workflow, which includes this menu of my favorites. Let's say I want to admit a patient to hospital medicine. I want the BPMH done. They are on a diabetic diet. We can quickly order a dietitian consult, activities tolerate, up assistance, vital signs, pick the one that you want, any imaging that you might need, the consultations for occupational therapy with the most common reasons for consulting them, wound care, talk about physiotherapy or weakness. We want DBT prophylaxis during this time, so we'll order the DBT prophylaxis, code status, daily labs for the next three days done here. Any additional lab work that you might want to consider, urine sample, your routine medications for PRNs, bowel protocols, and over to here for the frail elderly, which I admit a lot. We want them up in a chair three times a day. We want to schedule routine voiding, your PRN Seroquel and Loxapine. All that done very quickly. Everything's organized. We haven't missed anything and everything's pre-filled so you don't have to worry about dosages it's a lot quicker than going through a power plan. We just sign them off when we're done here. So hopefully I've convinced you about how powerful these quick order favorites can be. Now how do we go about making these things? If you can notice here that all the individual orders are placed in folders for organization. This one's called admitting labs. This one's called admitting medications. So in order to make one of these quick orders, you have to open a patient's encounter. So here we are in a patient's encounter. And don't worry, we're not gonna be putting these orders through for real in this patient. However, we will need this in order to make the quick order screen. In this example, we're going to make a new admitting order plan. So let's go through a power plan right now to see what we can take from one of these and make our own. We'll click on modify details. Okay, here are some of the things that we might take for our own admitting power plan. Let's say vital signs. We want them Q12H and when we go back and right click on this, we will add to favorites. Here's where we're going to organize them into folders. We're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this test admit. We also in the vital signs might want a Q8H option. We're going to right click again and we're going to add to favorites. And now there should be a folder called test admit, which is here, and we click OK. So now we have a Q8H vital signs and Q12H vital signs we can choose from. Let's make one more, Q4H. So you can see that we've changed that to Q4H. We will right click on this, add to favorites, go into our test admit folder, and we'll put it into that as well. Let's place an order activities tolerated. So we will right click and add to favorites. Again, we're going to add that to our test admit file. Okay, and we're going to choose one more, up with assistance. So we're going to check this off, right click on it, modify. We don't need to add anything, right click again, and we'll add to favorites. Again, we're going to put this into test admit. So now that we're done ordering these things and adding them up to our favorites, we're not going to plan or initiate, but we want to cancel for this patient. We don't want these things ordered for the current patient that is opened up. We will say yes to cancel these actions. And now 
when we go back to our quick order screen, we should find a folder down here called test admit. When we open this folder, we can see the vital signs that we put in, the activities tolerated, and our upper assistance orders here. So now we have these five orders in a folder called test admit. So now we want a shortcut for test admit over here. How we do that is going over to this arrow here. There's a three bar menu. We bring that down and add a folder. And here we will find a folder called test admit. We will select this and here we are. So now we've added the test admit shortcut folder over here. Um, and let's say we want to move it over onto this side for better viewing. We go back up to this three bar menu here and we will drag and drop. This allows us to drag and drop to a place where we want it to be. And now we can change the colors and there's a three bar menu here. Now we can do a color theme such as dark blue and we can also default this to expanded or closed. So when we open up the quick orders menu this will be closed. If we enter the quick orders menu we can default to expanded. So for example this one is defaulted not expanded and this one's defaulted to expanded so that's what it would look like. Lastly you can reorganize your quick order screen uh, so let's say, for example, you want your vital signs to be Q4, Q8, and Q12 in order of experience. So how we do that, we go over to the plus symbol and the new orders entry. So I'll bring up this menu. And this is a very non-intuitive arrow right over here between the star and the folder. Click on this and you get organized favorites. So I'll bring you into this menu. We open up test admit. When we click on here, the vital signs, the Selected item details are on the left side. So that's the Q12H, this is the Q8H, and this is the Q4H. Now we want the Q4H vital signs to appear first. So we have highlighted this. We then put the up arrow twice. That'll bring up to the top. This middle one is now the Q12H, and we want to bring that down one. And so now you see a Q4, Q8, and Q12. We close that. We are done with this. Now we have to refresh our page and what we should see is now it's a Q4, Q8, Q12. This is obviously quite a tedious process and it takes some time to set up, but I guarantee that once you set this up once, you'll be able to fly through your future orders. That's all I've got, so hopefully you have learned a few things here and we'll see you at the next episode. Thanks for watching.